she continued. I was on the call two weeks ago and I told you about the chronic fatigue syndrome. I feel that it has already improved a bit. <laughs> um, I have another question today. So I've been uh, in, in a relationship for four years, not with my twin flame. He lives a, a bit further away, but uh, with a man. And since I have this illness or um, since eight months, there has been a lot of swapping around of the dynamic that was there between us. I was a bit of the chaser and he was more the avoidant and it was very tiring and I realized that only now suddenly there came up in me this fear and I'm not sure if if it, my soul is impulsing me to leave him and that causes the fear or if the fear is caused by the fear of losing him just like that. So it's both kind of fear of losing him, but but I'm not sure if, if the soul is impulsing me to go. And there will, would be many consequences if I would leave because I'm also very financially dependent on him at the moment. And yes, so that's the question. Did I understand you correctly? You're talking about leaving the partner you're with. Yes. yes. Not leaving the same soul. No, the same soul lives 10 minutes from here. Yes, we, we've been in this process for six years, the same soul and I, but we were in a relationship, but it didn't work out romantically. And um, and he's also friends with my partner now. So, but, but there is a, we don't talk at the moment because we are both ill. So, and there why, is anger. Why do you want to leave your partner? That's the thing, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure if if I want to leave my partner. I, I'm not sure if there's an impulse that tells me to leave my partner or if it's just a fear of losing him that I have to lose him before he lo leaves me because I'm sick. So, Do you know? I mean, uh, I, it's a bit confusing. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. It's too much thinking. When those Perfect. thoughts come, you throw them out of the head. You just sort of say, no, it's not the time to think now. If you've had chronic fatigue syndrome and it's getting better, that's where you focus. You can decide that you will be all right tomorrow. I, I say this all the time. This is a decision. This is a decision, you focus on that. You focus on the truth, on the truth impulse. The partner is not the focus. The fear that he will go, that he will come, that he won't, that he will... The fear that he will leave you because you're sick. You focus on on the truth within, no? And then you're not going to stay sick like this, it's not possible. You've said it's a small improvement, it will be fully gone. It will go away, it's a matter of surrender. The surrender is what brings you into a state of joy, and this syndrome will unsyndrome itself. It's nothing. It's a call to surrender in the system. And you are holding on to it too much. Let it go. It's enough now. Just bend to the truth within. Don't think about him. Will he leave you? I'm in this fear. If you acknowledge the fear, you give into it. And fear attracts what it is afraid of, it always attracts. Fear will attract it. So you can't afford, right, to give in to the fear, can you? Thank you for the answer. And but there's a fear that, or not, not a fear. Um, there is this feeling that maybe the relationship was also part of the cause for the chronic fatigue because I was so focused on getting him near all the time. Whatever that is, the focus cannot be on him. The focus has to be on the truth. You cannot focus on him now. You know what I mean? The more you focus on him, the more afraid you are that he'll leave you, or the more afraid you are that he's causing the, the chronic fatigue, or it's, it's a bunch of thoughts in your head, and those thoughts, and giving in to those thoughts is going to exacerbate the syndrome uh, and not uh, reduce it. 
you're going to focus on the truth bend in surrender you know the the surrender posture you have watched the videos watch them again that's the thing focus on the truth and listen to what i'm saying take it seriously it is how it goes no you understand what i'm saying it goes that way that you focus on the truth you bend and what happens is there's more joy in the system then you bend more then there's more joy in the system the more joy there is in the system the less that chronic fatigue is around because the ego is so big and you're thinking that much something happens to your body to quiet it down to put it in a state where it can't do anything anymore chronic fatigue it puts you in bed your thinking so if you don't want to be in bed i mean if you're happy to be in your chronic fatigue then okay embrace it but if you want to change something you're going to have to bend to the truth and it's a beautiful place to be it is so trust what i'm saying because i know what i'm talking about you're not the first person who will come out of it fully it's past tense very soon and then when you're in a stronger state then you can think about your man and then you can decide whether you're afraid or not or this or that or he goes or comes or whatever and financial reasons are not reasons to to uh, to be with a person anyways there has to be that that love for someone money is not a reason to be with someone it's love because when love is there everything is there you know so don't worry about him right now and don't worry about your chronic fatigue don't do puja of that puja you know what puja is you know yeah like the ritual and you know, yeah. you're ritually worshiping your chronic fatigue it's not your chronic fatigue it's it's the system revolting against all that thinking so is it just yeah. bending like you say bending but can can it also be relaxing into the heart or is that more of an identification with the soul then it might become that so where you are right now it is important to feel the heart to feel the joy of being alive of that impulse no that's what you're looking at all this misery around and he leave me is this and that and the third and fourth and now i'm in bed and what will happen and you are giving into the wrong thing that's ego it's a simple thing life is a simple thing it's not as complex as people try to make it out to be it isn't so just relax in if you want to relax into the heart to start with yes and then you bend it is you bending to the truth and refusing to listen to the ego you know it'll be fine thank you